Most of the peppers growing out in Ahi land are kind of rare, and you might not have heard of a lot of them. But today we're looking at what's possibly the most famous Ahi in the world. Strap in, cuz. This is Adventures in Ahi Land, Colorado Rockies, man. Growing plants to understand which ones are the hotties, man. An audience of pepper lovers, all my sisters and my brothers grow along to get along and learn from each other. Adventures in Ahi Land. You didn't know? This is Adventures in Ahi Land. Never forget, plants help us grow. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Adventures in Ahi Land. My name is Boss. I'm a gardener and a lover of all things spicy. Today, I am looking at the Ahi Amarillo, possibly the most famous Ahi pepper in the world. You ask me. Ahi Amarillo originates from Peru. I wasn't able to find like an exact origin, but it seems like it's been around in Peruvian culture for a long, long time. The first time I grew Ahi Amarillo, I thought, what the heck? It's not yellow at all. And then I looked online and I saw all these orange peppers. I thought, WTF, mate. Amarillo means yellow? This is orange. What you're seeing here are the first few fruits that I've managed to get ripened right before we had our first frost. The good news is the frost didn't really damage my garden. I've got more Ahi Amarillo ripening on my plant. It grew very tall. It didn't fruit very fast. One of the tallest plants in Ahi land, uh, well over four feet tall. And hopefully I get the whole harvest off of it because it is loaded up right now. All right, we're gonna go one-handed chop. You can see fairly hollow, thinnish walls, not too many seeds, not too thick of a membrane. Let's check out the flavor. All right, Ahi Amarillo. Instant fruity flavor. There's heat. It's delayed about <clears throat> three seconds and then you swallow it. Kind of a melony, mellow, fruity flavor. Tiny bit of that tropical tang as a chew. Heat level in this one is, it's not too bad. Probably five times as hot as a jalapeno. While it's not super hot, you definitely feel it. It's a great way to add spice to a hot sauce. So I am saving seeds out of here. I will save seeds out of these other few pods that I do have as well. Um, hopefully I get a good harvest still before the next frost and I will be offering them on the website. I will leave a link below. There's also hot sauce, spice mixes, merch, all kinds of cool stuff if you want to support this channel. So check it out, please. That's going to do it for this week though. I will see you soon, but remember plants help us grow.